What is up with you guys? I'm back again. I've got quite a few videos to do for today, so you guys make sure you come back because on the 18th, there's a lot of shoes that are dropping. So I'm gonna give you guys just my thoughts on the design, the resale price, and give you guys some styling tips on what you can wear with these shoes as well. So starting off first, we've got these Nike Dunk Low, they're called the Cacao Wow. So I'll show you guys what I'm looking at in a couple of seconds there. And Bam, as you guys can see there, you've got that dunk, which looks rather quite different. Very, you know, um, out there. It's not what you see every single day. So, right, okay, I will get my lenses on and magnify. <laughs> so, all right, so we can see this dunk comes in different materials. So you've got like different materials on the toe box as well as on the side panel. Then you've got some leather as well and some suede as well. So the material on the toe box is like this very durable, meshy type of material. And then you've got the leather, which is also got threading, which forms a pattern on each panel, which is made of leather, normal leather that is. So on the toe cap there, as you guys can see, you've got that like, um, it's kind of like a skunky green. It reminds me of 420. You know, you've seen the 420 shoes I've come up before, the high ones. It reminds me of those sort of shoes. And so you've got that like um, darkish green. Um, I was going to call it broccoli, but it's not really broccoli. Broccoli is a little bit lighter. This is just a little bit darker. Then the toe box comes in that brown, meshy kind of like material, which I believe is uh, got ventilation to help you, you know, feel cool in hot times. And then you've also got some blue lacing as well, which has also got some little accessory on it, which is green as well. And then you've got a contrasting panel just where the laces go, which is in that kind of like nuance of um, green, which is finished off in that suede as well. So each and every panel, it forms its own story. So I'm very interested to find out the story behind this, the name itself, Cacao. Because cacao, as far as I'm aware, it's what is used to make chocolate. Um, I'm not sure if that, you know, is derived from there. But so far, from what I can see, I think it's a nice shoe, which I wouldn't mind wearing, especially in winter. It's not for everyone. And then you've also got like the, uh, the mid section as well, the mid panel, just where the tick is. So that comes in kind of like a gray colorway. And then it is just, you know, broken by the tick which comes in a beautiful blue it's that like sort of turquoise sort of blue which has got the suede finish to it as well and then just beneath the tick as it goes towards the back you've got that brown panel there the brown leather panel which has also got the kind of triangular stitching pattern which you know um brings its own flavor to the shoe and all those colors do match like on paper, like, you know, if somebody told you you're going to make a shoe and the list of colors, you'd think, no way. This is not going to match. So I just want to take my hat off to Nike because usually when you get these type or level of shoe, you know, it normally comes from an external partnership with either artist or just we're trying to convey some sort of like, you know, statement with that shoe. But for Nike's team to, you know, be allowed to bring the shoe which also i believe comes in a grade school sizing as well so just to let you guys know and then also as you guys can see on the top section there comes in that green then you've also got the white contrasting midsole finish up with the white stitching and then when you go beneath that you've also got the outsole that comes in that beautiful green as well so these should come out on july the 18th and they're coming out at eight o'clock um, these should cost 110 pounds. I'll check on sneakers or either um, Nike. I think probably these are coming out on Nike because on the 18th we've got the um, the foot pack that's coming out. So as we swipe to the left, as you guys can see there, you've got the tongue which comes in that green as well, which is in suede, and then you've got the blue laces there. If they do offer like a brown lace, then do I think put on the brown laces. Just to kind of give it more of a subtle look. I'm not quite sure about the blue laces on the front. So in terms of resale wise, I think with these, 
they might not resell and make a lot of money. They will make some money, but I was said before is we're currently going through a tough time. If you guys have not seen the financial markets, the raising interest rates and there's um, you know high rising inflation all over the world right now, and there's you know I'm just you know less money in the system really. People are spending less money, so. This will affect and have a ripple effect on the shoe market as well. So I don't want to give you guys some sort of false hope and say it's going to make a lot of money. I think right now the safest thing to do if you want to invest money is to buy precious metals. That's the only safest thing you can do. And also buy, and also buy maybe the S&P or the Nasdaq stock index. That's the safest, I think, bet. You know, with shoes right now, I think it's a very risky thing. People don't really need shoes as much. They can keep the same old shoes. So I think they will, this will have some sort of effect, you know, um, on the shoe market in a negative way. So, yes, with this one, I will not give you guys a certain amount of money. I'll say you will make some sort of money. Um, I think, personally, at least, you know, um, what we're talking like, maybe 20, 30 pounds on certain sizes. Obviously, half sizes are always key. As I always say, so just be aware of that. So moving on quickly, guys. Uh, in terms of what you can wear with this shoe, I'd probably say I've got some green cargo pants. So say green cargo pants and maybe a black top. The black top does kind of, you know, bring everything, it ties everything together, and it's also got the darker, you know, effect. So it kind of brings the outfit, I think, just to a certain level, which is, you know, not too over the top. I mean, you could wear like all green. Then have them as well, but then it's just you're like a little bit too green. So you might want to just bring the outfit down a little bit, and the black does work that way. I feel so. These shoes suitable for autumn. Why am I frowning? I, I don't know how I was frowning. It's suitable for autumn, winter time, not for now. Definitely not the right season. But yes, guys, thanks for watching. It's been great. Make sure you guys subscribe. Have a good day. Good day.